All right, so in this tutorial, uh, we're going to model uh, this kind of uh, building. This is actually some kind of maquette, but uh, I wanted to show you how you can parametrically uh, model this kind of uh, effect in Grasshopper. So we're going to use both uh, Rhino Geometry and Grasshopper to combine it and to get this result. So first thing we want to do is uh, we want to create um, this kind of basic shape. So what we can do is we can actually use this uh, polygon tool here. And if you have the number of sides as three, it will actually be a rectangle. Uh, uh, sorry, a, a triangle. So we have this basic shape here. Now let's uh, do some filleting. So let's go with radius one. We have this uh, created like this. And then uh, we actually need to move these guys a little bit on the side. So I'm just gonna uh, draw some reference geometry here to have it as, uh, as a guide. And uh, I'm gonna use this to uh, to have the reference uh, planes here so that I can move them around. So I go with points on here and then I move it in this direction. One here. Then I move this guy up also as one. And this one, minus one. Once I'm done with that, don't need these guys anymore. So we want to clean this up a little bit. Uh, we can uh, we can actually delete these uh, these guys here, and this one, and this one, and these two. So now we have our reference geometry, and let's uh, head over to Grasshopper to to create the definition. Let's divide the viewports as we always do, like this set you to perspective and let's move the grasshopper window inside like so okay so uh, first thing we want to do is actually we want to create uh, to move this shape <coughs> 22 times and then rotate it a little bit step by step so uh, in order to achieve this uh, we're going to need uh, basic curve element uh, We're going to need move command And then we're gonna use okay, let's let's start with this first so I'm gonna set one curve here Now I can hide this guy and Let's move this geometry to here so the default is the default is uh, 10 but we want to actually have a lot of them so we're gonna use series for this and we're gonna type here 22 times as count this is the number of of uh of copies uh this is the the step and this is the start starting from zero which is what we want and uh now we just need to put the z uh, uh z z unit as a uh, as a uh, direction we want this to go in that direction this so now we have these uh with these 22 uh, guys now the next thing is to actually use rotation so let's go rotate and since we need to have to, to to say to this guy okay what's the center of rotation uh, the center of rotation should be the the actual uh, center of all these shapes. So in order to get the center, we're gonna use uh, the command called um, area, and this guy will actually give us the center of all these shapes. And now we have the center, which is this plane here. We connect it. Uh, this will be the angle. So. When I, when I do it, when I do it like this, everything will be transformed. So you see that the geometry is each shape is transformed in the same way. But our goal is to have each shape transformed a little bit, uh, a little bit more than than the previous one. So in order to achieve this effect, we're gonna use again series command, and we're gonna 
say okay let's have the angle of let's 10 this will be the angle and the count will be 22 the same as as previous here uh, now let's use radians because we want to to move the the rotation so we connect this guy here and we connect this guy here and now we have the rotation but it's not done done yet so first uh, this is like too too big, so let's move the step down to let's say five. Seems reasonable. Let's go even less. Let's go four. And okay, let's say that this is this is the thing we want. And you can see it's it's quite easy to to create this effect. So now uh, the only thing left is to. Uh, extrude these guys so let's go extrude let's type a Z factor again and this time it will be let's say 0 0.8 so we move it like this and we're pretty much done so now I'm just going to bake this big uh, and we have our geometry another thing that we can do is actually uh, let's let's say that we wanted to actually like change this initial shape for example if we if we try to scale it down everything will scale down and this is the beauty of grasshopper so uh, let's say we're happy with this now we can now we can exit from this let's go to perspective let's go to shaded and let's change this to the default layer back and now uh, we can just use offset surface uh, distance of 0 0.5 and let's see what happens and there you go this is the, the shape we wanted and I'll just quickly render this and show you the final result. Here is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.